Hello to all. Welcome to the second part of calculating area in Google Earth Engine. So in the previous part, we have calculated the area of any region by defining any boundary and for calculating the area of a single pixel or a single pixel value of a classified image. And in this particular case, we have using Mortis land use land cover data. Now in this part, we are going to calculate the area by class. That means we will cal going to calculate the area of each class. So let's proceed. So uh, afterwards, we are just going to define a new variable with the name area image and we will going to define image dot pixel area and we're not going to put it as a separate image, but uh, we're just going to add is as a band in the uh, in our previous image that is Goa LULC. After that, we are going to define a new variable areas in which we are going to apply a reducer over this image. First thing we are going to define as the reducer and this time also we are going to define ee reducer dot sum. After that geometry we just copy from this area or we just copy from this uh, each and every just from the previous reducer okay now but this time what we are going to do we are going to add a group field that means we are going to uh, after the sum we are just uh, going to add group and we're going to open bracket and in this bracket we are going to define a group field as one and group name as and in order to see what this this group command will do we just go to the docs and search for dot group and the top group function we are going to use for reducer so group reducer records by the value of given input and reduces each group within the reducer that means if an image has a separate group so it is going to reduce each and every group and the result of this particular segment is the reducer so in order to check uh, we are just going to print this areas and let's see what are our result So it is printing additionally an uh, object in which there is a class group and there are total 12 group and let's check. So it is written that class number 2 and area is this much in meter square and if we check the class number 10 the area is this much. So that means we are able to capture the area of each class but it is not in the presentable format now we are going to uh, play with this dictionary so that it can come in a single list so for that purpose we are going to de define a variable as class areas and we are going to define a list and list will be nothing but the areas dot get here we are going to get this as a group that means so what we are doing we are converting this groups uh, in a dictionary format to a list after that we are going to define a new variable class area list and in which we are going to use this class area and give a, a map a function dot map this will be going to our function in which we are going to uh, take each and ele every element of this list as an item and the function will be written in this curly braces so first of all we are going to uh, in the function we are going to define as area dictionary in which 
we are going to use area ee dictionary item So now what we have done, uh, first of all, uh, we have created this object in which there are uh, 12 objects within the this particular object and we have provide a function which will go each and every element of this particular uh, dictionary. And the first of all, it will what it will do, it will extract the uh, each and every item that means this object as a separate dictionary. And in dictionary, there are two items, one is class and another is sum. So first of all, it will extract the class and in the second, uh, it will extract the sum and convert them into square kilometer by divided by six and uh, divided by 10 to the power six and round off. And ultimately we will return a list with a combination of two things. One is the class number and second is the area. And in order to check that we have uh, write everything properly. So just print this class area list. So this is the best practice to check each and every segment of your code that it is working properly or not. So it is uh, initially it was a dictionary and now it is a list and in there are 12 element in the list and in the each list uh, element there are two uh, element that means one is the class number and another is the area in the square kilometer. Now uh, we are just what going to do uh, we are just going to give the final result as ee. the dictionary and class area list dot flatten so what does the flatten do it will convert this list into a single list and that means hierarchy system will be a flattened down and just we are going to print this result and let's see so it is now coming as a single list in which the index of the element is the class number and the value of this particular class number is the area in the square kilometer. So this class is coming zero maybe because um, the area of 16 class uh, may be less than one square kilometer. So let's just check uh, in the object groups 11 class or the 10 class. So the class number 16 has an area less than one square kilometer. That is why it is coming as zero. So you can actually uh, reduce this uh, one into 10 to the power six and convert this square kilometer into meter square. So uh, in the next part, we are going to calculate the area of each and every region. Suppose in this case, uh, we are calculating the area of each class for whole region. But what if you want to calculate the area of uh, maybe each and every district or each and every different segments. So, uh, so hope you liked this video and if you do so, then please hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.